The views and opinions of this program are not necessarily of SBSN, Fios, Xfinity, Spotswood High School, Spotswood, Spotswood Board, Board of Education, or the Borough of Spotswood, New Jersey. This program has been pre-recorded. Welcome back. I'm Sean Weston, and this is Spotswood Tonight. So I don't know about you, but growing up during the holiday seasons, I remember a book called How the Grinch Stole Christmas about a Grinch who stole all the presents during the holiday season. And it turns out it's kind of true. People have been going around from porch to porch stealing gifts delivered by mail, so keep an eye on your presents this holiday season. In other news, it turns out there's a new reason to get dogs this holiday season as a gift. In a study of over one million children, children who were introduced to dogs at a young age for long periods of time had a 15% chance of not getting asthma. So there's another gift you can get for the holiday season. Anyway, we got a great show for you tonight. We have JC and the Magic Sax on. We're going to do another interview with Athena. And we have the skit team, and they're going to come back and see if they can earn redemption. Also, if you missed the holiday special, we have a segment for that for you guys to watch. All that here on Spots for Tonight. We'll be right back. All right, <coughs> welcome back. So last week we had Miss Carino on the show, so I thought I'd mention if you want to see the performance of Star Wars, it's on the YouTube channel. Also, check out the Twitter channel under the same name, SBSN Studios. Speaking of Twitter, we have uh, Athena on tonight. So, welcome, Athena. Hi, how are you? Alright, so, uh, how's the Twitter account doing? It's actually going a little bit better. I mean, we gained, um, at least one follower. <laughs> it's pretty good, if you ask me. It was, uh, Miss Carino, right? Yeah, the band teacher. So, hopefully we can get more teachers or more clubs or something to follow us and maybe even you or some students yeah hopefully anybody watching this has a twitter SPSN studios anyway so how have you been lately been good it's, um, it's going good what about you i don't know i've been it's been pretty good been easy lately went to the smash bros tournament which uh... which i mentioned also last week so and how that was, was that? It was pretty good. Uh, I had a friend in it. He made it pretty far, but, you know. Can you actually, like, tell me about that? Because I'm a little, like, everybody went to it, and I don't even know what it is. Basically, there's a video game that's, like, it's about fighting, I guess. It's very, like, cartoon violence. And there was a tournament, which was actually interesting. Hackspace used, like, a website with, like, brackets, and it was very organized. So maybe in then it everybody went on one-on-one -on -one pairs until it was two people left and yeah and they had some pretty cool prizes so if they do that next year and you didn't make it this year some so it was basically like a video t t video game tournament pretty much oh that's nice so uh what are you doing for the holidays well um i'm not going to uh be in new jersey but i'll you know be somewhere else and I'll be spending the holidays with my family. It's pretty good. So what what do you typically do for the holidays? Is like a is there a tradition or Um, yeah, so I usually um family would come over. Um my grandparents would come in from Florida and visit us and um my whole family would come to our house for Christmas Eve and then Christmas Day we go to my aunt's house who um lives in Monroe and Christmas Eve my family stays till really late at night and we'll be like opening gifts and you know they usually come over at like one though in the afternoon and we have like appetizers and then a big dinner it's usually like Italian you know because my mom's side of the family is Italian and that's who usually comes over alright what do you think is the best gift you've ever given somebody that's a really good question I mean um, I love to give gifts. Um, I love the pleasure of doing that. I love seeing it in their face, the look of happiness and everything. The one special gift that you can give is 
love to somebody that's like family or something but also giving gifts to you know someone meaning like toy or something anything that can make someone happy I love and sometimes it could be small or big I just like to do what makes somebody happy um what is it also I feel like that's a little bit of a cop-out answer but I'll let it slide um what was the worst gift you've ever gotten that I've ever gotten um I usually appreciate everything I get but I mean I guess I could say that it's a good question um hmm usually when I receive books because you know kind of don't read those things <laughs> so it's just like a five dollar book sitting that I'm not gonna read <laughs> so okay. what do you think is the worst gift you've ever uh, given I think all the gifts that I give are pretty good um wow. maybe wow. I You've never may made a mistake <laughs> I, I mean some things uh people might not have the same taste as me but other than that I mean maybe it was like a little bit of a less expensive gift that should have been more that it wasn't so good or nice I don't know um, have you ever uh re-gifted actually I've never done that seriously I've never done that because it's pretty good Never with the books, you never was like, eh, I'm not going to read this. No, I kind of just let them sit in my house. I mean, my sister likes to read, so we just pass them down to her. All right. Um, did you ever give a gift that was not appreciated? Like, somebody mm -hmm. saw it and was like, oh, thank you. Yeah, sometimes you could tell when you give someone a gift, you could see the look in their face that they either didn't like it or they kind of did and it's just like sad because you kind of like spent a lot of time and I don't know usually like usually like appreciated it but then they'll return it all right did you ever get the same gift as somebody else or? actually yeah I've I've um some one time I had received a gift from two different people that were the same and I was like this is cool because now I have two yeah. So and you, and you wanted both of them or no? It's just I didn't, it's not that I actually wanted it, but I mean it's always good to have two of everything. Oh, you didn't even know. want the gift. No, in the I first place. I did, but like it's not like I I asked for like two of it. Mm, yeah. But um, what about you? What was your favorite gift you gave? Uh, favorite gift I've given. Yeah. That's a tough question. Um, well I guess this year I um. I bought a sweatshirt and it didn't fit me. And I was like, well, I guess I'm just stuck with this now. And then my, me and my friend decided to do a sweatshirt exchange. And we basically, he bought something in my size and this was in his. And then we swapped. And so that was oh. pretty cool. Both got something out of it. Do you do Secret Santa with your friends? or? Um, yeah, I think we did that this year. Didn't work out too well, but... You know. I've never arranged any of that with my friends, but I kind of want to because for girls it's always exciting because, like, girls know what to buy other girls, and, like, well, boys, if the boys are involved in Secret Santa, they can always just figure it out by, like, talking to other girls or something. I don't know. <laughs> All right. Um, did you ever give a gift that you wanted yourself? Oh, yeah, that one came um, across a couple of times. I'd be in the store... And I'd be like, wow, I really like this. And then be like, but you know what? This person will like it better and they need it. I don't. And you know what's funny? It's amazing how I could spend so much money on one person, but then I think about spending a penny on myself. Like, I could spend $100 on somebody, but then when it comes to spending $20 on myself, I'm just like, nah. You know? All right. Do you ever have been in that situation? Um, once or twice where I've been like, Man, this is pretty cool, but, you know, what are you going to do? Yeah, kind of always happens to me. Yeah. All right, well, do you know any uh, holiday songs you can sing for us? Oh, my God. Good job putting me on the spot, but I don't <laughs> like singing. You didn't like but, um, I mean, I guess I could sing Rudolph. Right. But can I not sing the whole song? All right, fine. Sure, I'll 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 give you a break. You can like, sing a little bit. Why don't you sing with me so I don't sound alone? <laughs> I mean, I don't I don't know. I, I, uh, the mic, yeah, something must be wrong. I don't want to break it any more than it is. Trust me, I'm not lying. 
Trust me. You you can sing though. Um, fine. I guess I'll sing. Rudolph the red nosed reindeer <laughs> had a very shiny nose. And what? I don't want to sing the rest because I don't think I know the rest that you don't, well. You don't. <laughs> I don't want to sing. Oh wait, there's no mic on it. All right, well we actually fixed the keyboard, so no mic on it. Whatever. Maybe you heard it. Okay. Well, um, we wish you a happy holidays. That's all the time we have for today. Um, this is spots for tonight. We'll be right back. Alright, welcome back. So tonight we have JC on and he's going to be playing Jingle Bell Rock. Take it away, JC. That's great, JC. Thanks for being on Spots with Tonight, as always. You're watching Spots with Tonight. We'll be back in a moment. Alright, welcome back to Spots with Tonight. So for the past eight years now, SBSN has brought you the annual holiday special. This year, the TV3 students offered a rendition of Jingle Bell Rock, SPSN style. If you missed it on the holiday special, that is now playing. You can see it right here, right now. Enjoy. TV3! Happy holidays from TV3! Alright, 
welcome back. So, for a few weeks, the skit team's been on hiatus, but they came back just in time for the Spots with Tonight holiday special. Let's see what they've been up to. Take it away, guys. I'll tell you why Santa Claus is coming to town. Janie, are you texting in the halls again? No. That's it. Detention. Janie, are you copying someone's homework again? No. That's it. Detention. Yeah, so my mom told me no that she wasn't going to give me money, so I just took the $10 from her. So now we can go to the movies. Janie Heaven, are you in detention? What? This is not a good report I'm getting from the elves. You better turn your behavior around or else you're getting pulled this year. See kids, even at high school, the elves are still around. All right, well that was uh, something. You're watching Spots of Tonight. We'll be back in a moment. Alright, well, that's our show. Thanks to Athena and JC for coming on. Thanks to TV3 for their wonderful song. And thanks to the skit team. And thanks to the crew. Because without them, we wouldn't be able to make the show possible. And this is the best show on earth. Have a happy holidays and a happy new year. We'll be back in 2016 with all new shows. I'm Sean Wesson, and this is still Spots with Tonight. Program. are not necessarily of SBSN, BIOS, Xfinity, Spotswood High School, Spotswood Board of Education, or the Borough of Spotswood, New Jersey. This program has been pre-recorded.